Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a top five video on how to get your skin the best it can possibly be. I just want to set a disclaimer right now. These methods I'm going to be showing you guys is just what works for me. Just because something works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. However, I've tried to make everything very vague so that way it can fit into everyone's skincare routine and makeup routine and lifestyle basically. I did see my beauty Kia Joy do a video that was very, very similar to this. So I will leave that video down below and that really inspired me to actually film my own take on this video. So Nakia, if you're watching, thanks girl. So the first one is actually a no brainer. We've been told this all of our lives, but it's just very, very hard to grasp the concept if you don't like the taste of this. It's called water. <laughs> you guys, I can't stress how much my skin changed when I started increasing my water intake. Obviously, this is like almost empty. I try to drink about three or four of these a day. So I usually meant to drink about two liters of water a day or eight glasses. I've never been that person that like hates the taste of water. I've always craved water throughout my whole life, really. For those who don't know, Huda Beauty actually did a blog post that uh, kind of went over everything that happened within seven days of drinking a lot more water. So I'll leave that blog post down below if I can find it. So the next one is obviously taking off your makeup at the end of the day the right way. So what I usually do is I peel off my lashes, I grab a wipe, wipe my whole face down, and then I usually go in with my Clarisonic to really, really deep cleanse my face. Now I often have people say, okay, Jacob, but like I don't wear makeup, do I still have to cleanse my face? Yes, you do. These days the air is so polluted, especially here in Melbourne, that you really, really just wanna get rid of any shit that is left in your skin because there's dust flying everywhere, there's smoke fumes, like it's just fucked and you want to make sure you're cleansing your face the right way. I usually use my Carasonic in the shower with me. This one is waterproof. This is the Mia 2. I'm pretty sure all of them are waterproof. Definitely do your research because I don't want you getting fucking electrocuted. I find that this takes off my makeup like nothing else I've ever tried in my entire life. And the good thing about the Carasonic as well is that it will double beep when it's time to move on to the next area. So you start with your forehead, T-zone, cheek, cheek, done. Over the past maybe two, three months, I have added this step into my skincare routine. My skin looks so much more even in texture, in tone. I don't have much redness anymore. My acne Acne scars don't last as long simply because I have started using this product. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Hydrating Oil. First of all, the name still fucks with me. Hydrating Oil. Hydration is water, oil is oil. What? But you guys, I, okay, I have combination skin. My nose gets so oily throughout the day, but when I started using this, I stopped getting as oily. I don't use this in the morning because I feel like it's a little bit too heavy. I just use like a water-based moisturizer. But at night, I slather my face in this. So what I'll do is I'll do my whole skincare routine and then at the very, very end, I'll put on my oil. So the reason why you want to put your oil on at the end of your skincare routine is because because when you think of it, oil is oil. It's going to create a barrier and it's going to have a lot of slip to it. So any water-based products that you put into your skin is not going to be put into the skin. I don't know if that makes sense, but you do want to use all of your water-based skincare routine steps first. I can't talk tonight. And then you want to go in with your oil over the top as soon as you're done. This has a bunch of different oils in it. It has lavender oil. So if you are sensitive to lavender, if you have sensitive skin, steer clear. Definitely go for like a Sunday Riley oil or um, even like a pure rosehip oil. Even if you are oily, please don't be scared of oils if you are oily because a lot of people think, okay, well, I have oily skin, so I'm not going to put any oil on my skin because I already produce so much. That's the thing. Because you're not putting any oil on your skin, your skin overcompensates. And you know what? I can go into all of like the marketing strategies that skincare companies put in place with people with oily skin. Basically, anything that's targeted towards oily skin is going to dehydrate your skin and draw everything out of it, which makes your skin oilier and intensifies the problem. I noticed right away that as soon as I started using oils, my skin got less oily. It healed a lot quicker. It looked brighter and more youthful. It just, it looked so much less dull and that's exactly what you want. But yes, anyway, oil in your skincare routine, it'll change your life. Okay, so this next step is what you would use underneath your moisturizer before your oil, before your eye cream. This is called Hydroluron. Now, um, I did speak in my skincare routine about this product, but I didn't have it on me. So here I am talking about it once again. This is by Indeed Laboratories, and this is basically a hyaluronic acid gel. Now, when people hear hyaluronic acid, they think like, oh fuck, like it's a chemical, like it's gonna burn my skin. No. Hyaluronic acid is actually found naturally in our skin and it holds up to 1000 times its weight in water, if that makes sense. I feel like this product is a must have for all skin types, whether you're dry or whether you're oily, whether you're combination sensitive, whatever, because it is just straight up a moisture gel. Hold on, let me like put some on the back of my hand. So I literally just bought another one of these as well. As you can see, it's just a gel and the smallest bit goes such a long way. I usually use it after my toner. So after cleanser, toner, I'll pop this on, 
Then I'll do my other skincare and then I'll pop this on at the very end. What I love about this is that it actually has a really tacky feeling to it. So after you put it on, everything you put on top is really going to stick and be kind of sucked into the skin. And it sounds kind of weird, but that's exactly what you want with your skincare. You want it to penetrate deep. So yes, Hydroluron is definitely a must have. Okay, so then I have one more and then I also have a bonus. Now, this isn't really skincare. This is more cosmetic. This is what I use almost every time that I go out that I just want my skin to look a bit more glowy, make it look a little bit more healthy. And when I see people like in person, when I have this on, people are like, you are glowing. Like, what did you do? Oh my God, your skin looks amazing, blah, blah. And it's literally just like cream highlighter and everyone can have this. Like, I'm just, I'm sharing my secret. So this is Benefit What's Up. And I'm going to pop this on the back of my hand. As you can see, it's a gorgeous champagne-y highlight shade. So basically I pop this just straight over my cheeks. I just do like a one swipe and one swipe, maybe down the bridge of the nose if you are a little bit more on the dry side. I always do it on my chin. I don't know why I just always have. And then I usually just get like my finger or you can use the back, which is like a little sponge and tap it out. So yeah, if you want your skin to look banging straight off the bat, as soon as you wake up in the morning, pop some of this on and you're all good. <laughs> when I have a full face of makeup on, I need to have a setting spray. Now I really didn't believe in setting sprays because I was just like, okay, like here's another fucking gimmick. Like it's just like some water in a bottle, whatever. And I think that's because I was so used to using Fix Plus where it literally is water in a bottle with a cucumber and all that other shit. That I wasn't really used to the effects of an actual proper makeup setting spray. But I will say I have been convinced and I have changed. So my go-to setting spray currently is the Gerard Cosmetics and Nikia Joy Slate All Day. Kind of matches my eyeshadow and my lip color. Um, this is a setting spray. So basically you can use it underneath your makeup. You can use it on top of your makeup. You can wet down eyeshadows to make them stand out a lot more on your eyelids and make them stay a lot longer. Basically this has alcohol in it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it has alcohol. It's the second ingredient. Because this has alcohol in it, it's basically going to create a film over the skin. Really complicated. I don't get how it works, but alcohol evaporates and it dries things out. So that's exactly what it does to your face. That's why your makeup stays on a lot better because when you're spraying this, you're spraying alcohol on your face. Alcohol dries. If your face is drier, it's not going to slide. So obviously if it's drier, it's going to stay longer. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> this scent as well, guys, like, okay, I've tried the peach slay all day and it's just, it's just way too strong for me, but Oh my god. Oh, it smells amazing. So guys, that is my top five tips for amazing skin. The best skin you've ever had before-ish kind of, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I will see you in the next one. And then basically it'll double beep when it, and it, and then base, so it'll double beep once it gets to, basically it'll, fuck, why can't I talk? So basically it will end up double beep